Hello, and welcome to Jerry K. Hill's Living, Breathing, Succeeding podcast. This podcast, five years post-transplant, was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Science Foundation. Today, we'll learn more about Jerry K. Hill, a 60-year-old living five years post-double lung transplant. I'm walking into this, but I'm gonna keep going. Five years ago, Jerry was sitting in the hospital thinking he was undergoing his fifth dry run, but he was in luck. The lungs were good and the operation was successful. So we decided to talk to some of his friends and hear what they had to say about their friend Jerry Cahill reaching this new milestone. Let's take it away. It's on one hand hard to believe that it's been five years since Jerry has had the double lung transplant, but on the other hand, I am not surprised that he has come this far. He's so determined and focused on his health and in every other aspect of his life. He's relentless and Jerry tries to get stronger every day. I think Jerry has taught us that statistics and numbers don't really mean anything in the world of cystic fibrosis or in his life in general. He's already outlived the so-called life expectancy of both CF and lung transplants. So I think uh, if there's anything that we can learn from Jerry, it's that uh, there are no limits. Jerry's milestone of five years post-transplant is nothing short of amazing, but also very expected. Uh, for those of us who know and love Jerry, we also know that he is a dedicated CF patient, meaning that he takes care of himself. We're thrilled to know that Jerry has made his fifth year. Go Jerry! He has always set the bar so high for everything he's always done, and he's always achieved it, and I've loved watching him do that. I had a double lung transplant on April 18th, 2012 at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Medical Center. My lung functions uh, pre-transplant, they ranged from 19 to 22%. Post-transplant, when I was back in the field and coaching, um, and at a track meet, somebody said, like, how much better I looked. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? They said, you know, you looked awful. And, you know, you look, your breathing was terrible. But, you know, when you go through a gradual decline, you don't recognize it as much. Someone might take a step back like myself and say, wow, my life is not that bad. Even if you had a smidge of thought that you would think it was. And that would motivate you to say, hey, listen, get up off your ass, push a little bit further, and keep fighting no matter what it is. Get up every day and be thankful. Jerry puts life in perspective every day for me. And I think I'm sure for many others when we're worried about silly things getting through the day. Jerry is someone who impacts your life, whether you realize it every single day or not. And it's really amazing to think that someone like that can inspire you without even being in front of you every single day. It's inspired me to do the best in every aspect of my life, just like he does in his coaching, in his work, in his motivational speaking. And um, it's really just remarkable to me that someone I know, a coach, um, has made it this far with cystic fibrosis but even more has made it five years post double lung transplant when their survival rate is only 50% uh, of patients. You know, you've got to breathe and you've got to take care of your lungs and taking care of your lungs is exercising. You know, my lung function didn't get to 108 by FEV1s by me just getting a new set of lungs and saying, hey, isn't this nice, I can breathe. No, I exercise a lot, I bike and I swim um, and I, I'm outdoors and I do some weightlifting. Uh, so I really take care of my lungs. So it's not just get lungs and, you know, let's go party and live life because I can breathe now. Coach Hale really pushes you to your best, really pushes you to your extremes and just like tries to make the best out of what you can do. He lives it every single day and he is the prime example of how you should live as a cystic fibrosis person if you want to have a very fulfilling and long life knowing how strong you must be to be able to survive through that and still be going strong and hard and doing all these crazy adventures and biking for 500 miles and even with the double lung transplant, that's really inspiring. Frankly, he makes me feel like a lazy slob half the time. <laughs> the man does so much. There are so many examples from Jerry's life to draw motivation from that it's humbling just to know him. All of a sudden times it hits you like, wow, I'm 60, and I'm like 20-something years beyond the life expectancy with CF. 
And then all of a sudden it's like, wow, you're five years post-transplant. Really 50% of the people get there. So uh, it makes me want to uh, train a little harder, work out a little harder, or take even better care of myself. Jerry has changed post-transplant in, in ways that he's actually more motivated and more determined than he was before, if you could actually believe that. If anything, it's made him more of a courageous and spirited fighter. And if it's even possible to think about it, knowing Jerry before the transplant, I think he's even changed for the better. He appreciates every single day even more, and he also just knows that he has a new lease on life, and he's not going to take advantage of this new lungs, uh, set, new set of lungs that he has. And he's even more relentless. He's even you know stronger and healthier mentally every single day. He seems stronger. And he seems determined more than ever to go out there and talk to people and youngsters and adults to give them what he has gone through in so far as being active, exercise. He's more determined, that's how he might have changed in helping people than he ever was before. The moment he got new lungs, it was the moment he got a newfound sense of energy and purpose. And the last five years, I have never seen a guy go through what he has gone through. He's uh, 60 and he's going strong. And I expect him to be around maybe even another 60 years, <laughs> given uh, the amazing person that he is. I think it's made him kind of take a step back, take a deep breath and really look at his life and make the most of everything he has and continue to achieve his goals. My daily routine has changed uh, dramatically. I don't do the vest, I don't do postural drainage anymore. I take pills, I take anti-rejection pills. Uh, if I go to a movie theater, um, I'll wear a mask. Uh, I don't go into big crowds. I can breathe, I can work out. I have a phenomenal uh, team of doctors and support team. Uh, and I'm very thankful and appreciative uh, to my donor and his family for the unconditional love of donating organs. He's living on through me, which is great, and I'm living I mean, because of him, so, um, you know, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Life is good. I mean, life is, is really good right now. Hi, Jerry. Congratulations on your fifth year post-double lung transplant anniversary. Jerry, congrats on uh, the five-year anniversary post-double lung transplant. We're we're all your biggest fans and we're, we're all in your corner for the rest of your life and the rest of the fight that we have against cystic fibrosis. Thank you for being there throughout my whole um, high school athletic career and thank you for inspiring me every step of the way and being a true role model um, for an athlete but also teaching me life lessons. Congratulations Jerry, I wish you all the very best. Jerry, congratulations that you've made it this far and you still continue to go towards your goal of conquering any any kind of problem or any kind of issue, so-called, that would come in, in, into your life, whether it be cancer, whether it be knee replacement, whether you, know, you can't breathe one day, whatever the case may be, you really are amazing in so many different ways, and thank you for being a true inspiration to me. Congratulations, Jerry, on such a great milestone, five years post-transplant. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done for me and taught me and I look forward to seeing all the great things that you do for the CF community moving forward. Hey Jerry, many congratulations for reaching your fifth anniversary. We expect no less than 20 more years from you. Jerry, I am so happy for you, I'm so proud of you, and I'm so grateful that you are part of my life and you've touched so many lives as well. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you do for the CF community. You are a person who has changed my life, and I want to say congratulations on five years, and here's to another five, 10, 15, because you're going to outlive us all. I certainly know that. Congratulations, Jerry, on five years. Here's to many, many more. More things have gone on than I'm sure anybody knows in your world that are ups and downs, and as you say, bumps in the road, but you never waver. You always have a smile, you always make me laugh, and you always have a positive outlook on life. And I am eternally grateful for that. I always will be, and I love having you in my world. Jerry, thanks for being a big part of all of our lives. 
and thanks for proving that hard work, dedication, and daily execution garners positive results. We're excited that you made it five years past your double lung transplant and can't wait to see what the future has in store. You better like this podcast and pay me for it so I can pay Craig, who has a wedding in June. And thank you for your um, 24-7 help with the lung transplant project and helping the community and our patients who are post-transplant. Thank you very much. Jerry, happy 60th birthday and fifth anniversary post-transplant. You are a most amazing individual and my life is better each and every day because you are a part of it. Well, my dear Jerry, I congratulate you uh, on five years. I'm not surprised because you have taken such care of your health. You've done 120% of everything the doctors have told you. And God bless you. And I love you very much. I told the kids that, uh, you know, I make them now do a little dance to get them relaxed before pole vaulting. So they always say, like, when are you going to do it, coach? And I said, I'm not, not going to do it. Well, for your transplant, maybe you'll do a little dance. Listen, seeing you got ritualistic, cleansing my soul of addiction for now, cause I'm falling apart. Just like picky fences You got issues that I won't mention for now